China's Great Green Wall, officially known as the Three North Shelter Forest Program, is one of the most ambitious and extensive environmental projects in human history. This monumental endeavor aims to combat desertification, restore ecosystems, and improve the living conditions of millions of people across China. Initiated in 1978, the project spans several decades, targeting completion by 2050. It involves the planting of billions of trees across thousands of kilometers in the country's northern regions. This video delves into the purpose, implementation, challenges, and successes of the Great Green Wall. Welcome back to Just Know It 254. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel. I promise you will have the best videos and I will make them so interesting for you to watch and learn. Please subscribe. Let us begin with the purpose of the Great Green Wall. The primary objective of the Great Green Wall is to mitigate the adverse effects of desertification, which threatens large swathes of northern China. Desertification is the process by which fertile land becomes desert, typically due to drought, deforestation, or inappropriate agriculture. In China, desertification has been exacerbated by climate change, overgrazing, deforestation, and unsustainable farming practices. In a nutshell, the Great Green Wall aims to prevent desert expansion, reduce dust storms, improve agricultural productivity, enhance biodiversity, and boost local economies by creation of jobs through afforestation efforts. Let us now look at how the Great Green Wall is being implemented. The implementation of the Great Green Wall involves several phases, each building upon the successes and lessons of the previous stages. The project is characterized by its sheer scale and the diverse strategies employed to achieve its goals. The phases of the project include 1. Initial Phase, 1978 to 1985 The first phase focused on establishing pilot projects and gathering data. This period was crucial for understanding the types of trees and methods best suited for different regions. It involved the planting of fast-growing tree species and shrubs to quickly stabilize the soil. Two. Expansion Phase, 1986 to 2000 Building on the initial successes, this phase saw a significant increase in the scale of tree planting. The government introduced policies to encourage local participation, offering financial incentives and technical support to farmers and communities involved in afforestation. 3. Consolidation Phase, 2001 to 2020 During this phase, the focus shifted to consolidating the gains made in earlier years. Efforts were made to ensure the sustainability of planted forests, including better management practices and the introduction of mixed-species forests to enhance resilience. 4. Completion Phase 2021 to 2050 The final phase aims to complete the project and ensure its long-term success. This involves continuous monitoring, maintenance, and expansion of green areas to cover the targeted 4,500 kilometers of the shelter belt. The various techniques and strategies applied in this project include 1. Selection of tree species One of the critical aspects of the project is the careful selection of tree species. Fast-growing species such as poplar and willow were initially chosen for their ability to quickly stabilize the soil. However, over time, the emphasis shifted to more diverse and resilient species that could withstand harsh conditions and provide long-term ecological benefits. 2. Water Management Given the arid nature of many project areas, effective water management is crucial. Techniques such as drip irrigation, water harvesting, and the construction of small dams and reservoirs are employed to ensure young trees receive sufficient water. 3. Soil Improvement Soil erosion and poor soil quality are significant challenges. Measures such as the use of organic fertilizers, mulching, and terracing are implemented to improve soil health and prevent erosion. 4. Community involvement. Engaging local communities is vital for the project's success. The government provides training and financial incentives to farmers and residents, encouraging them to participate in tree planting and maintenance. This not only helps in achieving the project goals, but also promotes a sense of ownership and responsibility among the local population. 5. Technological integration. Modern technology plays a crucial role in the project, Remote sensing, GIS, geographic information systems, and drones are used for monitoring and evaluating the progress of afforestation efforts. These technologies help in identifying areas that need attention and in assessing the health and growth of planet trees. Despite having a huge number of benefits, 
The Great Green Wall project faces several challenges, but the Chinese government and project managers have devised innovative solutions to address these issues. The challenges include 1. Harsh climate. The northern regions of China, where the project is concentrated, experience extreme temperatures, low rainfall, and frequent dust storms. To overcome these challenges, drought-resistant and hardy tree species are selected. Additionally, microclimate management techniques, such as windbreaks and shelter belts, are employed to create more favorable conditions for tree growth. 2. Soil degradation. Poor soil quality and erosion are significant obstacles. Soil improvement techniques, such as the application of organic matter and the use of cover crops, help to enhance soil fertility and structure. Terracing and contour plowing are also used to reduce erosion and retain moisture. 3. Funding and resources. A forestation on such a massive scale requires substantial financial and material resources. The Chinese government allocates significant funds for the project and also seeks international cooperation and funding from organizations such as the United Nations and the World Bank. 4. Community engagement. Ensuring the participation and support of local communities is essential. The government provides incentives, training, and resources to farmers and residents, encouraging them to take an active role in the project. Community-based approaches, such as cooperative farming and agroforestry, are promoted to enhance local involvement. Nevertheless, the Great Green Wall has achieved significant successes since its inception, with substantial positive impacts on the environment and local communities which include 1. Reduction in desertification. The project has successfully halted the advance of deserts in many areas, with some regions seeing a significant reduction in decertified land. This has helped to protect arable land and prevent further soil degradation. 2. Improvement in air quality. By reducing dust storms and stabilizing the soil, the Great Green Wall has contributed to improved air quality in northern China. This has had positive effects on public health and reduced the economic costs associated with dust-related damage to infrastructure and agriculture. 3. Increase in biodiversity. The creation of new forests and green areas has provided habitats for various plant and animal species, enhancing biodiversity. This has helped to restore ecological balance and support the conservation of endangered species. 4. Job creation. The project has created numerous jobs in tree planting, maintenance, and related activities. This has provided livelihoods for local residents and contributed to poverty alleviation in many areas. 5. Agricultural productivity. Improved soil quality and moisture retention have led to increased agricultural productivity. Farmers are now able to grow a wider variety of crops and achieve higher yields, contributing to food security and economic development. 6. Community Empowerment The involvement of local communities in the project has fostered a sense of ownership and responsibility. This has strengthened social cohesion and empowered communities to take charge of their environmental and economic future. As the Great Green Wall project progresses towards its 2050 completion target, Continued efforts are needed to ensure its long-term success and sustainability. This includes 1. Ongoing maintenance. Regular maintenance and management of planted forests are crucial to ensure their survival and growth. This involves activities such as pruning, thinning, and pest control. 2. Adaptation to climate change. As climate change continues to impact the region, adaptive strategies are needed to ensure the resilience of the Great Green Wall. This includes selecting climate-resilient tree species and implementing water-saving technologies. 3. Research and Innovation Continuous research and innovation are essential to address emerging challenges and improve project outcomes. This includes developing new techniques for soil improvement, water management, and tree planting. 4. International Collaboration the Great Green Wall serves as a model for similar initiatives worldwide. International collaboration and knowledge sharing can help other countries facing desertification challenges to implement effective solutions. As I conclude, the Great Green Wall of China stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and determination in addressing environmental challenges. By transforming vast desert areas into thriving green zones, China is not only combating desertification but also improving the lives of millions of people. The project's success offers valuable lessons and inspiration for global efforts to restore degraded lands and promote sustainable development.
As the world faces increasing environmental pressures, the Great Green Wall exemplifies the potential for large-scale, integrated solutions to create a more sustainable and resilient future. If you found this video about China's efforts to combat climate change intriguing, please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss on any of our updates. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.